Hi guys, in this video I'm gonna show how to find axis of symmetry, vertex, y-intercept and then sketch the graph. We are given a quadratic equation minus 2x squared minus 16x plus 3. Notice that this equation is in standard form. So the first thing is good to do is label the, the coefficients as a, b and c. So now First thing I want to do is axis of symmetry. So I'm going to find the axis of symmetry. So the formula is x equals negative b divided by 2a. All right, so let's substitute. We have negative, negative 16 divided by 2 times a negative 2. That equals 16 divided by negative 4, which equals negative 4. So the axis of symmetry is x equals negative 4. Okay, let's just see where or how that would look like on the coordinate plane. Okay, so we have a, let's say somewhere here is negative 4, and I'm going to draw a vertical line. That's the axis of symmetry. Of course, it's not to scale, and it's not perfect. Okay, so now we're going to find the vertex. I'm going to use the blue color for vertex and the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to substitute the x value negative 4 uh, into equation and then I'm going to solve for y. So we have negative 2 negative 4 squared minus 16 times negative 4 plus 3. Now we're going to evaluate negative 2 times negative 4 square is positive 16 and now we have negative 16 times negative 4 is plus 64 plus 3 and that equals 2 times six, uh, negative 2 times 16 negative 32 plus 64 plus 3 that equals let's do the calculations very fast and that equals positive 35. So we have a 35. Okay, so the vertex in this case is going to be negative 4 and 35. So if I take this number line a little higher than negative, uh, positive 35, let's say that's somewhere here. So the vertex, the dot, is going to be over here. Okay, so that's the vertex. And now I want to know the y-intercept. Okay, so y-intercept is basically y equals the c value. The reason is that if you substitute 0 for x, notice that when you have a y-intercept, let's say in this case we have y equals 3, which is, let's say, somewhere here. Notice that if you substitute uh, for, uh, so if you want to find the y-intercept, you have to substitute 0 for x because when your y is 3, the x is 0. So, in other words, you could substitute uh, 0 for x plus 3. Notice that this is 0 minus 0 plus 3 equals 3. Okay, so y-intercept is basically the constant, the c-value. And now, we want to sketch the graph. So since we have a y-intercept over here and then we have a vertex, you also want to make sure that this graph goes through the y-intercept. And then how would you know whether the graph or parabola opens up or down? So what we're going to do is we're going to take the value a, and if a is positive, greater than 0, then parabola opens up. If the a is less than 0, then it opens down. Uh, my students are saying if uh, the parabola, I mean, if A is greater, I mean, if the A is positive, then it's smiley face. If it's negative, then it's sad face. So, if you, if you think that's helpful to remember, then that's how you can look at it. So, and then we want to sketch the parabola, and what you don't want to do is, you don't want to do um, absolute value function. So... Uh, it's not perfect, but let's try again, see if I can do that. So what I want to do is I want to kind of sketch symmetrical parabola that goes through 
y equals 3. And I'm going to do my best. Okay. It's not perfect, but it looks something, look something like that. It is the x-axis, y-axis. Okay, so this is how you would find axis of symmetry, vertex, and y-intercept. And I hope this was helpful. Please let me know if you have any questions.